Hi, so I have a really cool problem that was brought to my attention a few weeks ago, but I wanted to make a video about it. So this was on the Discord server, link is in the video description, but I wanted to give a video about it, which is the set of all contractible strings. And I had never heard of this word contractible. So let me give you an example. So we have this string 0, 3, 1, 0, 1, 1. And contractible means that we're going to take a substring of two or more of the same character and then delete that whole string. So we'll find a maximal string, substring, of the same character and we'll delete it repeatedly. Uh, not necessarily the same every time. So here we're going to take these three ones, I've underlined them here, and we're going to delete them from the string. Then we'll result in the, in the string zero because of this zero at the front, then a zero here, then two ones at the end. So then we have two zeros here and then two ones. Then we can take out either one of them. I took out the zero, zero here. Then we took the one, one out, and then we finally got the empty string. So that string right here, because we were able to contract it all the way to the empty string, then it's contractible. On the other hand, if we have the string 010101, for example, then there is no uh, substring, uh, maximal substring with two or more of the same character in a row uh, because it alternates here. So this string is not contractible and this one is. So here we're asking, we have zeros, ones, and twos. The two is important here. Uh, where the string is contractible, I wanna show that it's not regular. And the way that you prove this is actually pretty nice. Um, it's actually pretty slick. So here's the main idea. So we're going to use the pumping lemma, uh, just like we would do with most um, non-regular proofs. So the pumping lemma, we assume that this is regular, and then therefore we pick a string that's in the language and length at least p. So here's the string that I'm going to pick. So I'm going to pick w to be 0, 1 to the and that thing to the p, 2, 2, and then 1, 0 to the p. So clearly this thing has length at least p, and uh, it's contractible. The reason it's contractible is because of this 2, 2 in the middle. So the 0, 1 is alternating at the beginning. It goes 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, repeating. And so the beginning bit is not contractible. The end is not contractible for the same reason. But the twos here, uh, the only way that we could ever hope to contract this string is to take the twos out. And so then we essentially merge the two halves, which means that we're going to have two ones in the middle, which means that they're going to contract. And so we can take those out, then we're going to have two zeros match up, and we're going to remove those. And then we can actually contract the whole thing. So let me give you a quick example of that. So let's say we have 0, 1, 2, 2, oops, 2, 2, 1, 0. So this part is the only way we could ever contract the string. So then we contract it and we get 0, 1, 1, 0. The only way we contract it is the 1, 1 here. And so we contract it, we get the 0, 0, and then obviously that can contract to the empty string. So the twos really play a vital role here. And actually, I don't know whether or not this is not regular if we have two characters in the alphabet. The two really is necessary here from what I can tell. Maybe it is possible to show non-regular with two characters in the alphabet, but um, uh, I don't see a way. You, you seem to need this third character in order to guarantee that um, uh, this string is contractible. Now we want to actually produce a string that is not contractible from this. So in order to do that, we need to be able to pump the string to get a string that is uh, not contractible. So the only decomp the, all the decompositions according to the pumping lemma for regular languages involve the pumped piece being in the first part. So the pumped piece um, it doesn't matter uh, if I call it UV or W, or it, it just doesn't matter. So it's over here somewhere. So let's figure out what happens. So if we delete that pumped piece, so we pump downwards, then at least one character will get deleted on this side. 
So let's write that down. So if we pump uh, down, then the length uh, before, quote unquote, the, that 2, 2 in the middle is uh, less than the length uh, after. Right, because they were the same before, we're only pumping uh, things away from the first part, and so its length must decrease. So think about what the string structure is. So it's alternating between zeros and ones at the beginning and then one zeros at the end. So if we take away one of those characters, then that means that it must match exactly with one character on the other side. Because think about what, how we were able to show that this string was contractible. The only way that we can contract it in the first place was the 2, 2 went away. There's no other way to contract this. Then once that was taken away, there's exactly one way to contract this. So that means if we say uh, delete that zero, for example, or more, there's at least one character deleted, then at the end, this uh, the other zero on the other side is not going to match with um, the right zero. So there's going to be an unmatched zero at the end which means that because they're alternating between the ones and zeros, that means that it's not contractible because we need to have the substring be of length at least two in order to be able to contract it in the first place. And so by pumping down, we get a string that is not contractible no matter what, which I think is pretty dang awesome. So this really heavily uses the structure of contractible strings. And we needed at least three characters in order for this to even be possible. Maybe there's some other way, but uh, this appears to be the only way that I can see. And it uses the fact that in the strings that we make here, there's exactly one way to contract the strings. There's absolutely no other way. And so by pumping down, we take away one, one of those possibilities at some point. It cannot match at a particular point, namely, near the end, which I think is pretty dang slick. So hopefully that was interesting. Leave your thoughts about contractible strings and this uh, pumping lemma proof down into the comments down below. As always, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. There are many other links in the video description if you want to support the channel further. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.